What you're looking at right here is Apex Legends, running at 4K 60 FPS, with OBS capturing it without dropping any frames in OBS. OBS isn't losing, it's not having any render lag. The frame rate isn't reducing. OBS or Apex is running at full max settings. <laughs> Unlocked frame rate. What is this voodoo? And, and the same thing with PUBG and Rainbow Six? What? Oh man, I never thought I'd actually get to make this video this year. I am so stoked for this one. This is one of the most important updates that has come to OBS Studio that was kind of just quietly released in a hotfix because they're still testing it. We're going to talk about this more in today's video. The GPU allocation issues, the frame rate issues with streaming games like PUBG or Apex Legends at 4K, 1440p or ultra wide and getting a reduced frame rate in OBS even though your encoding is fine, things seem okay, they're fixed or they're in the process of being fixed in a way that is really freaking awesome. We're going to talk about that in today's video after a word from our sponsor, of course. I'm Eples Vox and welcome back to Stream Guides, your all-in-one resource for learning how to live stream, learning how to optimize your stream, all the technical details. Today we're tackling an issue that has affected me since 2017. I talked about this in a fairly ranty video that was purely made to make noise about this issue last year, which was called Windows 10 is holding back content creators. Because seemingly out of nowhere with the Windows 10 anniversary update, so many of us started having issues live streaming games like Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Apex Legends, which hadn't come out yet, but was also heavily affected by this issue, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Suddenly it just seemed like overnight I was unable to keep streaming it. And I researched this for the past two years, I guess three years now, uh, and was really unable to find a real answer. That is until Nvidia stepped in and started working with us and I started be able to be able to communicate with both them and the OBS developers to really feel out what was going on here. And once I figured it out, I tried to explain it the best I can while still, you know, being like, hey, this is broken, it needs fixed because that was really what that video was said to do. The issue that shows up, specifically these symptoms are when you're playing and streaming a game, your game frame rate is fine, your encoding lag is fine, but your actual little frame rate indicator at the bottom right hand corner of OBS or in the stats window is fluctuating all over the place or it's very low at 20 to 40 to 50 FPS and you're building up a bunch of render lag even though you're just, you know, doing a normal gameplay stream. This is caused by GPU resource allocation issues. Your GPU, your graphics card, which is what composites and renders your scene in OBS, but it's also what runs your game and what your game runs on. All of this happens on the same set of resources and your game and OBS are competing with one another. And this means that your game, which Windows 10 is optimized to prioritize, which is a good thing for gamers. They have made it to where that it says, hey, your game is what needs focus. Make everything else not, you know, not hurt your game. Your game was basically beating out OBS on resources and OBS was unable to live stream your video game. Well, this was a big deal. Obviously streamers want OBS to still be able to stream while playing their game. And the obvious fixes that we have covered countless times on this channel at this point were anything to reduce your game load. So prior to 1903, the most recent update to Windows 10, prior to that, the recommendation was to turn game mode off. Now the recommendation is to turn it on and I'll explain that in a little bit reduce your in-game resolution or your in-game graphics settings or frame cap your game to 60 FPS, anything you can do to lower your game's graphics card usage and you know performance requirements so that OBS has more room to breathe and to operate. Those were typically the recommendations. Those will still stand somewhat. Also disabling your preview. I covered that in my Ryzen 3600X coverage. Those are still recommendations to improve your experience here, but they're no longer entirely required. And that is because in the uh, hotfix OBS version 24.0.3, there is now an experimental feature where if you run OBS as administrator, OBS is now able to reserve the resources required in order to not compete with your game, or rather to compete more effectively with your game because it's still competing with your game, but it no longer has to lose out on that competition. It's basically prioritizing itself above your game. This is really good. This is the fix that we have wanted for years for OBS. And I do have some numbers to actually back up performance. Now this has come in this update. It is still very experimental. It is work in progress. Both Nvidia and the OBS devs are basically looking for data of people who are testing with and without and making sure that it works. It could break for you at any time. They do have a future update planned where they will be 
basically releasing it in such a way that you only have to approve the administrator run during installation and you don't have to keep running OBS as admin that way because running OBS as admin can break drag and drop file support, certain hotkey usage, things like that. The Stream Deck still works as admin, thankfully. But, you know, it's not an ideal solution to have to run OBS that way. So they're working on a new implementation that will not require that in the future. Just the version 24.0.3 hotfix version is, again, experimental. It's not ready to be announced as a formal feature by them. I'm just jumping the gun and trying to get this information out here because it's a big freaking deal. Uh, but you do have to run it as admin. A couple notes for context that are very important to using this update. So again, OBS devs and NVIDIA have been working for a very long time trying a bunch of different solutions before finally figuring out how to make this work in such a way that OBS is able to prioritize itself on the graphics card to compete with your game. So with that, along the way, they had been working with the Microsoft developers of Windows to you know, optimize Windows to try to help this as well. This first iteration of this actually rolled out in the Windows 10 1903 update, and that is when we started suggesting to enable game mode when Windows 10. Typically, this would prioritize your game above OBS, and it was always recommended to turn it off. However, with 1903, game mode now whitelists OBS and actually helps OBS compete for graphics card resources. And so if you're on 1903 or newer, leaving game mode on is still recommended. Now that is different from the Windows 10 game bar, which is an overlay, which can still cause performance issues or compatibility issues with OBS or Shadow Player, things like that. If you're not using it, I still recommend turning the game bar off, but game mode, which you can access in your start menu, type in game mode, game mode settings, enable game mode, turning that on will actually help OBS and already started to mitigate some of the issues back in March or April or May, whenever it released, started to mitigate some of those issues. Well, this is one step further and allows it in combination with the game mode fixes to compete even better. Specifically with numbers, I have some really good numbers and I just have them pulled up on my phone. I really wanted to go ahead and get this video out here because I needed to get this out as soon as possible. So for the sake of brevity and making sure I'm able to actually get the information to you, I tested three games, three games that I consistently ran into this allocation issue with on live streaming as far back as I have had access to the games. PUBG, Apex Legends, and Rainbow Six Siege. All games that will max out e any GPU, including the RTX Titan in my main PC here, and games that caused this GPU allocation issue. So PUBG was an interesting one. They've clearly received a lot of graphics optimization updates over the past couple of years compared to how it initially launched, but running it entirely on Ultra First, I started on my ultra wide at 3440 by 1440 set to 100 hertz uh, with admin off. So again, in order to use this new feature, you must run OBS as administrator. So in order to test, you know, this feature being on or off, I'm running OBS as administrator and not as administrator and seeing what the differences are. This is the best way to compare the results. With OBS running as admin off on ultra wide, the average in-game frame rate was 75 FPS, which is probably what I'd expect. And I had about 1% frame drop in OBS due to that rendering lag and that, you know, inconsistent frame rate. This was very stuttery. Even if 1% doesn't sound like a lot, this was still very stuttery and not an ideal experience. This is one case where my RTX Titan is enough horsepower that it's not a huge deal. So I do move on to some better tests. But then if I enable admin on, there were zero dropped frames whatsoever due to rendering lag and I only lost about one frame per second on average because the game ran about 74 FPS on average instead of 75. Pretty good, but again, I decided, okay, ultra wide isn't the best way to go here because it's too easy for my system to run, so I kicked it up a notch. I did perform all of these tests over on my gaming rig with an RTX 2080 as well to confirm, but just clarifying my methodology here. With PUBG running at 4K 60 Hertz on a 4K monitor, things became more clear. With, ad, with, again, not running it with the fix, with it run, not running it at its administrator, I had an 8% drop frames out of all of the frames that, you know, it was rendering, and the render lag was really bad. Like, it was constantly fluctuating that frame rate. Dropped 8% of frames, the game ran at about 55 FPS on average. With administrator on, it dropped 0.01% of frames, which was just like a few in a short burst at one point in time, and the game ran at 53.6 FPS on average. We'll talk about while I'm mentioning the frame rate averages in a moment. Moving over to Apex, again, admin on. Uh, so with the fix enabled, only dropped 0.03% of frames, averaged about 69.8 FPS. Turning the fix off, it dropped 6.32% of frames, and it was real bad, real, real bad. And the game ran at about 72.9 FPS. Lastly, Rainbow Six Siege, again, fix on, 
0% dropped frames, ran at 106.9 FPS, fixed, disabled, dropped 7.2% or 7.21% of frames, bad time, ran at about 117.1 FPS. Now, the reason I'm addressing frame rate of the game is because there will be a performance trade-off in your actual game as you're playing. This is what we want though. Like a lot of people are going to put a little bit of backlash up against this because they don't, they want both here and you can't have both. You can either have OBS performing to the best of its ability and your game running or your game running, dominating, running the best performance it can and OBS suffering. When you're literally hitting your GPU with 100% load, you cannot have both performing perfectly <laughs> on the same graphics card. And no dual GPU does not help you in OBS. I keep trying to dispel this myth. I have a whole video coming on it soon. But so what I was showing here is that there is a performance impact on this fix to your game. I did not notice, notice a significant increase in frame times. I did not notice a significant increase in input latency or anything like that. And it was, you know, only two to five frames per second on average dropped with the fix enabled. But that sacrifice is well worth it in order to be able to stream. And in fact, this further established that I'm probably moving back to a single PC setup because PUBG on this ultra wide right here is freaking phenomenal. And if I can do all the streaming now on a single PC again, especially with the extra bonus of my RTX Titan, I'm going to do it. And then this can become my benchmarking and CRT gaming station. So there will be a trade off. You will have to accept that trade off. There will always be a trade off. You can't avoid that trade off, but it's worth it. Again, there's a lot more nuance into every single game that you could test, and I only tested a few here. I will try to test more and tweet out my results and things like that. And like I said, NVIDIA and the OBS devs will be very thoroughly testing this and getting feedback from all other users and things like that to really make sure it's ready for prime time before it's released as a full formal feature in OBS 25 or whatever. But this is what we've been waiting for for a very long time. There are still people who will want to do two PC setups because they don't want that impact on their game frame rate at all. Even just OBS running without any of this nonsense is already impacting their game too much. But those people, there's no fixing that. Your graphics card is used by OBS, period. But this is really cool. And I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tested this, if you've if it's fixed the issues for you, or if you know, you're still running into some hiccups. I'd love to hear about situations in which this isn't the fix. Because right away, like I knew this was a really good thing when I launched Apex Legends, kicked up OBS and OBS was running fine because without this fix enabled, even just the menus was causing OBS's frame rate to be all over the place. Just the menus in Apex does that. So seeing this fix immediately keep OBS at a locked 60 FPS, I'll take a hit to my game frame rate. That's the point. I'm running every game on max or ultra settings, you know, whatever the highest settings are to really stress things for this test. So that means I can keep knocking down my in game settings and get a smoother game frame rate and be totally fine. So just wanted to get this information to you guys here. I didn't even get to a big early access period for my subscribe, you know, for my paid subscribers or anything like that. I wanted to get this out as quick as possible and just let you know that the fix we've been waiting for the biggest change in OBS's history is here. And I'm, I'm so stoked. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. I have a great stream guides episode coming, I guess, on Friday if this releases on Wednesday, talking about Ryzen versus Threadripper and if you actually, and versus Intel X299. And if you need a bajillion cores or threads for your live streaming, and I have Wendell on and things like that. Really good video coming soon. Get subscribed.